Well, new at 10 as we wait for our Cyber Monday packages to arrive, there's also a warning for all of us. That's right. Record sales mean hackers and scammers aren't too far behind. Team 12's Nicole Zymek joins us live with three scams that you need to know about to keep your family safe. Nicole? Yeah, Karibe, the online holiday shopping season is prime season for scammers, and some of these scams, they start the moment you confirm your purchase. Last year, the FBI received more than 350,000 reports of cyber scams, scamming Americans out of more than $2.7 billion. And the holiday shopping season is their Super Bowl. When people are really quick on clicking on links for ads, Black Friday sales and Cyber Monday sales and things like that. This year, experts are warning the first place you should watch is your inbox. Number one, sham order confirmations. Here, you'll get an email confirmation from what looks like it's from a reputable retailer. Your reaction will be, I didn't buy that. So you click on it to dispute or cancel the order, but that's when the hackers get to work, asking you to put in your credit card information under the guise of reimbursing you. But now, they have your credit card. You need Wi-Fi to shop online, but sometimes that free Wi-Fi at your coffee shop or the mall may actually belong to a hacker. Log on and... What that does is that actually opens the uh, gateway to your phone and to your computer, that credit card information or any other information you're putting out to potential thieves. And finally, watch out for bogus shipping notices. If you got to steal the Cyber Monday, you're probably already looking for the email to track your package. But be careful before you click. Scammers are sending emails that look like they're from FedEx, UPS, or the post office, alerting you of a delayed shipment. But when you click on the link, you get a virus. So if you're waiting for a package, go to the merchant's website to track it instead. And if you're in a giving mood today, of course, is Giving Tuesday after all. Make sure the charity you're donating to is a real one. And to do that, you can go to the 12 News app and find a link to the IRS website where you can do just that. Karibe, Mark, back over to you. All right, good tips. Thanks so much, Nicole.